Okay, so I'm going to take a quick uh, just demonstration here on removing freeze plugs. Um, you know, somebody might need to know, I guess. Big thing is, um, you can use, uh, this is just a punch. You know, get a hammer, get a pair of vice grips or tantalox or whatever. You can use uh, any kind of bar, even like a regular steel rod you got laying around, but biggest thing is I took this one out and I thought well let's just do this for a demonstration um, down here on the bottom I'm always going to push at an angle you want to punch sometimes these are super rusted out you can catch it right on the lip here but just try to hit it on the bottom and what we're going to do is don't just hit it in the center you want to hit it on the bottom and we're going to try to push it in and spin it around Right now the end's going in and the top's coming in out. Alright, so now you can either stop here because it's spun around enough that I can take my channel locks now. Get your arc side on the bottom. Just bite right on the lip here. And then just take it down and wet it up and it comes right out. <clears throat> and that's typically how they're done. Now, if it was to fall inside here, like, you know, you accidentally push it all the way in, you could just take a screwdriver or something and fish it out to the edge. And when you get it up here to the edge, and you got it to where you can grab it with the vice grips, just do the same thing and pull it out. Occasionally, they're all brittle and rusted because they're old. So you might have to kind of just dig in there with some needle nose or something to get them out. And even if there's little fragments in there, you want to get all that out. I know some guys actually say they'll punch them in and leave them, but don't recommend that.